Dr. Cutter with the Chainsaw Hospital. Today we're going to be starting up this MS-311. And uh, these are really nice saws. Uh, pretty pretty large uh, farm and ranch saws here. So uh, here we go. So let's get this thing started up. So we're going to start with the position in the O or the off. And we're going to flip it down to the I position, which is ignition, we'll call that. And then... Uh, so to get it any further, you see the, the lever won't go down, so we have to pull the trigger all the way back and push it down to the very bottom position. And once we're down there, we can go ahead and push in our decompression valve, since this one's equipped with it, to make it easier to pull on. And so let's go ahead and pull this thing over. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it over, and we're going to listen for it to bark a little bit. We're going to listen for it to kind of try to start, and maybe it'll shut off. It might try to stay running, but let's see what happens. All right, you hear it pop. It just tried to start one little, one little pop. So I'm going to pull the or push the the selector switch up to the next position. So once it's running in that position, we're going to let it idle or fast idle at that speed for for just a little bit if it's colder we're going to let it run a little longer if it's warmer like it is today uh, you know medium temperature just a, a five seconds would be adequate so let's do that and then what we'll do is we'll blip the throttle and it'll automatically come off of the fast idle to a normal idle Okay, so there you go. That's how you start this thing up. Uh, pretty straightforward. These are really nice machines. If you have one um, or know about them, the 391 is the is the big brother to this this chassis here. The biggest brother to this chassis, I believe. Uh, but either way, let me know down below if you have one. And uh, yeah, I would love to hear about it. So that's it from me, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please subscribe. That's really going to help us grow. And I'll get more of this content out to help you guys. So. Either way, uh, remember, keep your chain sharp and stay safe.